Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We're 3,000 subscribers away from $2,000 of a giveaway to a special winner. You guys know my giveaways are legit. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to i dk who these people are but go off daddy yankee poncho you are the man <laughs> Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see with Melody and Josecito El Bailador, when I seen this with my own eyes, I said, ¿Qué, qué? I said, e -u, e -u, El Bailador and Melody, my childhood. <laughs> And by childhood, I mean, they were like, they are one of the founding fathers along with Kino family. You know what I'm saying? They were one of the founding fathers for this channel. I would not see them bailando. I smiled. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not hating. I'm not against it. This happened. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I seen them dancing and I see Josecito la manita la manita la manita I said you naughty little boy <laughs> he said so everyone can see you're good you're good Arnorcito but who really got the final laugh at the end of the day because if I'm Jose I'd be cheesing at Arnoir. I'd be laughing in the back of her head and be like, you took my girl, <laughs> but I just took your girl that you took from me initially. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't even know that's something to be proud of, <laughs> to be honest with you. And if you guys paid attention to the song, that song that they were dancing to, if you guys are, are really talented chismosas, that song is a song that he was singing when Arnoir allegedly hit her. Remember that one he was singing, he was doing like a little karaoke singing for us. That's the same song. And then he was dancing with her. And then they were seen later in the ATVs. So like I said, maybe they're just being friends. It doesn't matter if they're dating or they're friends. But my thing is, I love them back together. And the next thing that we're going to be talking about, if you guys didn't see with your favorite Leslie Do makeup, them Let's Do warriors were going crazy in that TikTok. They were fighting for her life. Let's Do makeup's not going to give you a cookie. Sorry, una galletita con lechita. Nada. So when you guys are defending her, like if y'all know her, sorry about that. You don't know her. Aside from that, she had this to say. And I'm the Tinkerbell of the group. So if you know, you know. And if you didn't know, now you know. Um, <laughs> the Tinkerbell of the group means like you're just you're just the one that's always trying to be like it's okay, like everything's okay, everything is good vibes. Like that's me. Like if there's ever anything going on, I'm like no, it's fine. Like I'm the Tinkerbell of the group. I'm the Tinkerbell of the group, girl. <laughs> so we order shots. Like I. I'm just that. I'm just that girl. Like, I'm just the Tinkerbell of the group. I was just being Tinkerbell, like, trying to make people stay. And then we also had, like, a, a guy bartender. And I went to the bar to, like, get drinks. And the bartender was, like, super mad. And I was like, what? The, me being the Tinkerbell, I was like, what? Can we get some water? And she was mad, like, beyond mad. And I was like, what? Bad day, maybe, like, she got dumped in the morning. Like, you never know. I always think that, like, you never know what somebody's going through. Like, maybe I can make her day. So I was like, can I get a menu? Moral of my story is, I'm a strong believer that you don't know what anybody's going through. Like, for all I know, like, 
she got dumped in the morning i always say that like for all i know like she got dumped in the morning for all i know like you know her parents are going through a divorce and stuff like that and more of the story is just just be a good person blood was boiling and that never happens and everybody's like are you okay like should we go back and i was like literally my blood was boiling see isn't it good that i do these videos so i could summarize that boo boo because i turned that basically if you guys didn't see that it was probably another 30 more tinkerbells it was a four minute story that she posted but i cut it down into one so your brain didn't get over fried so i basically have to fry my brain just so that you guys don't get fried make sure you like the video for that please because every day i'm getting chiad and chiad listening to these stories that they say tinkerbell <laughs> if we didn't understand i'm sorry but i gotta say it she's tinkerbell <laughs> And then we have Catherine. Swimming in the ocean like a mermaid. And then Les is going to be flying around her. <laughs> Look, at this point, if they're that, I'm William Levi. They're thinking they're tinky. Why can't I be <laughs> Banchito William Levi Jr.? But also going back to Les to make up somebody that's humble, somebody that's nice, somebody that's respectable, someone that they're not going to keep saying it, saying it, and they're not going to say it especially 30 times to prove a point that they're nice. And aside from that, people that watch Disney, uh, some people were saying that Tinkerbell isn't always nice, that she's actually feisty. So is, is that the same way that Les is? Make sure to comment down below. I think she was referencing the wrong Tinky. And some people were saying, where was that energy at, that superhero energy at Laura Medellin's wedding? You see what a brother's saying? But make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the situation and did you guys see with mr austin mcbroom sometimes in life you just have to give up on things there's sometimes where i want to reach some things and then i have to come calm down and maybe and be more realistic here <laughs> you feel me so i think at this point mr austin needs to realize and be realistic that boxing isn't for you my, my recent fight for those who know i had a recent fight in my fight i got injured um long story short i tore a ligament in my foot and i had to do physical therapy for five six weeks straight and I literally just got done with it and now I am trying to get cleared to hopefully fight again in a month from now in Ireland comment below if you're from Ireland yeah. and you want to meet Austin when he's there so fingers crossed hopefully I get cleared so I can fight again um, I definitely need to win my next match okay that's a must for me because if you guys know me I'm very competitive I hate losing so this next one I need you guys to love and support. I need to go out and get a win. All the prayers we need. All the and prayers. then hopefully fight a third time. I have one more fight in August around Catherine's birthday. Um, so yeah, so that's that's that with the fight stuff. And you guys were asking. That was like another question. But that goes into this question. Where have we been? So hopefully that wraps up the first question, which was where have we been? We kind of give you a little update. Well, so you got knocked out twice and you want to go for a third time in Ireland, Dublin? In my country, Dublin? Are you serious? It can't be Dublin. You're out of your mind. But like I said, maybe third time's a charm. Sometimes you, sometimes some people don't learn the first time. And for the world news, did you guys see a place in Mexico? I didn't catch a where exactly, but they use litter technology. Lighter? I don't know if it's litter, lighter technology. Somebody correct me down below. Basically, like lasers to see all the ancient things that were built because there's a lot of uh, trees that are around, and they should start using this in the Amazon rainforest to see everything. Mine. <laughs> Like I said, I always find these things interesting. There's always a lot of mysteries in the world. I do want to discover before I leave the world. You feel me? Follow my social media. Subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Each and every one of you guys. Que llora, mama. Que llora. Te gusta el chisme, mama? Te gusta el chisme? She is all into the cheese, man. Right, mama. Salió la mama. Sorry about that.